The Western Cape ANC wants national government to place Cape Town under administration, citing the collapse of governance and leadership. The party's ANC leader in the Cape Town Council is Kolani Sotashe, who joins us now from our Cape Town studios. He is accusing Maimane the leader of the Democratic Alliance, of possessing confidential council documents despite not being a member. And as it happens tonight, she joins us now from, to talk more about this. Mr. Sotashe, what would be wrong about the leader of a political party getting the sort of information that he needs for him to be able to give direction to his troops on how they should should they can best conduct and improve the lives of the citizens of uh, that city? Uh, well, no, thank you, Vuyo, for having me this uh, evening. Um, look, the, the situation in Cape Town is that uh, Musi Maimane, the leader of the Democratic Alliance, has violated the Cooperative Governance uh, act because you have three spheres of government, the local government, provincial and uh, national government. So there are pieces of legislation that are governing each sphere of government. Musi is not a member of the city of Cape Town. He was not elected uh, by people of Cape Town to be in the city of Cape Town. So he, he stole the confidential information that is classified strictly for uh, members of Cape Town, even the members of the public, when the information is confidential, that information is only for councillors, not for uh, public consumption. So how he got access to that information, that's what we want to know. What if the information was relayed to him uh, by a party, you know? Um, in other words, he may not have access, had access to the actual documents, but the information was relayed to him by somebody. Well, uh, we, we, we know now, Vuyo, that um, and up until this stage, he has not denied that. We know that uh, he gave instruction to some officials um, in the city of Cape Town. We know some of those officials that have given him that information. And part of what is happening between themselves and Mayor Patricia Delil, they are using some of what is contained in that documentation against uh, Mayor Delil. So we view that in a serious uh, way because uh, he has actually not only violated the cooperative uh, governance, um, I think it's criminal because you, you cannot use the information that does not belong to you and you use it as a basis of your attack to another person. And, and, and remember, this, this is a decision of the council. We took a decision in council that the corruption that is taking place in the city of Cape Town must be invest investigated. So as members of that council, even before we received this information, this information was in the hands of the leader of the Democratic Alliance. Well, let's leave that now and talk then about uh, what your strategy is. What would you like to see happening? And is part of your, in fact, what will you be doing beyond this point? And is part of your strategy to actually woo Patricia DeLille? Well, uh, woo your part of what is contained in that information that Musi got access to is the fact that um, the, 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 there is a serious um, um, corruption allegations that has resulted to the resignation of the former um, city manager, Mr. Ahmad Ibrahims, and also one of the executive directors that, I mean, who is still on suspension, uh, Melissa Whitehead. So he, he, he does not only have that information, but he has also other information around corruption within the city of Cape Town that took place four or five years ago. These were forensic investigations within the city of Cape Town. So we are calling upon now to the national government to intervene because we must separate the party and government because they've been complaining that the ANC is using its muscle to dictate what must happen in government. So they are worse here in the city of Cape Town 
So they have violated all these pieces of legislation that are governing um, a local government. So, so we are actually asking that because, one, they, we have uncovered serious corruption in the city of Cape Town, maladministration, the interference of a leader of a political party in the affairs of the city of Cape Town, not only by directing, but Musi has instructed the councillors of the Democratic Alliance to vote to take powers away to Mayor Patricia Delille. So that is a serious violation. Therefore, we are calling upon to the Minister of um, Cocta to, to put the city of Cape Town under administration. Now, by courting Patricia Delille, is it your hope that uh, she will sing more or give you access to information you may not have had uh, before? Well, Vuyo, we, we have our own issues with Patricia Delil. I mean, we have mentioned that before. But what we have said, we are not going to allow a cabal within the Democratic Alliance using our legitimate concerns to advance their, poti, their, their petty political squabbles. We, we, we have issues about how the city is, how, 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 how the direction is being taken in the city of Cape Town. So as African National Congress in the city of Cape Town, we are very clear that the DA as a party that is governing the city of Cape Town must take the responsibility for all the activities that are taking place in the city of Cape Town. Well, if uh, Mayor Delil decides about her future, if she wants to come and join the African National Congress, as you heard, the doors of the ANC are open. In spite of the problems that you say you have? Well, um, Vuyo, but we cannot isolate. We cannot isolate um, Mayor Delil from the problems of Cape Town and, and single handed out here saying that she is only responsible for those problems. The party must take the responsibility because she's deployed there by the Democratic Alliance. So we are not going to allow a situation where Democratic Alliance is playing double standards. They must take the full responsibility. But are you, as the ANC, taking responsibility for your own problems? Remember, you once uh, uh, led Cape Town, of course, as part uh, of uh, a, a, a coalition. You were helped. Uh, but, you know, you didn't do yourselves any favors. And as a result, the, the DA rose and rose to a point where it is now, where it's going to be extremely difficult for you to actually topple it. Well, uh, Vuyo, we, 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 we considered that um, the, 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 the rise of the DA was because of our own weaknesses as African National Congress, the infightings that we had as the African National Congress in the Western Cape. We acknowledge that. But since then, uh, once acknowledged those mistakes, we decided that we should self-correct and really bring back the trust of the people of Cape Town. So in Cape Town, as ANC, we've been doing um, a, a kind of a good work in terms of exposing and making sure that um, we make the government of the day accountable to the citizens of Cape Town. Hence, you see all what you see today. Because if it was not for the ANC in the city of Cape Town, you wouldn't know about the corruption that is taking place in the city of Cape Town because the DA has been projecting itself that is running a clean governance in the city of Cape Town. I mean, here we are talking about the party that its leader went to Israel. And when he came back, he came back with a notion called the Day Zero. He actually manufactured the chaos in the city of Cape Town. This is a kind of a, a smoke screen where we, we are made to believe that there is a serious crisis in the city of Cape Town, whereas we know that a cabal within the Democratic Alliance is advancing a particular agenda. This fellow has promised, um, I mean, this uh, party, the Democratic Alliance, has promised the uh, companies from Israel that once they deal with this issue of the water crisis in Cape Town, they will be getting kickbacks. In fact, we are reliably told that a budget of six billion rands was set aside 
to uh, as, I mean to build desalination plant here in Cape Town. In return, the DA was going to receive over 600 million for their election campaign next year. This is corruption at its best. Mr. Sutasha, thanks very much uh, for talking to us uh, this evening. He is, of course, the leader of uh, the ANC in uh, the Cape Metro.